federal way, whipping winds left behind a mess stretching from one street to the next in the Twin Lakes neighborhood. It looked like a tornado went through or something. There's just branches everywhere. The winds are just so crazy. Oh, it's on top of the cars. Ooh. On Razor Valdez's car. You really see the damage. The door is just completely pushed down and everything. Yeah, it was pretty scary. It was in the middle of the night. The daylight brought a better view of this damage. No, that, that was not planted there, no. <laughs> Crazy. We, I did not think it was this this bad. And we came to here and it looked like a, a, a disaster zone. MJ Healy rushed in to help a friend after a tree went through the roof. See, that's inside. Photos show the damage done inside. So there was someone that was trapped in the house. Firefighters were able to get everyone out safely. And hours later, crews came in with chainsaws still trying to sort of figure out the best way to tackle it because it's a pretty tricky situation. In this neighborhood, it's a storm that stands out, ranking alongside some of the worst in recent memory. When we had the ice storms, it was horrible. It was really, really challenging. And here we go again. And here we go again. As bad as it looks, here they're just grateful. No one was seriously hurt. I'm happy everybody's okay. That's the biggest thing. This could be cleaned up, but super lucky, super, super lucky. I and mean, that's everything. Yeah, and he says they are so lucky because five people were home when the tree came crashing through the roof. He says it landed close to one of the beds, but with firefighters help, everyone made it out safely. Live tonight in Federal Way, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.